complex is like a trampoline if you type. The IdeaPad 100SS keyboard is a mixed bag. However, the scallop-shaped keys are fairly large, easy to target and have a snappy feel, thanks to a solid 60 grams of actuation force. On the 10th fast errors typing test, I scored 92 words per minute with a 2% error rate, which is on the low side of my typical 92 to 95 WPM time. Despite the flaws, the IdeaPad 100S offers a far better typing experience than the Acer Cloudbook 111, which has keys that are 0.5mm narrower, 2mm shorter and cramped together with 0.5mm less pitch. We just wish Lenovo had avoided flex, like it does on the 100S Chromebook, which is $20 less. In our tests, the 3.3 S 1.75 inch touchpad offered highly accurate navigation around the desktop but it does not support pinch to zoom, to finger scrolling or other gestures. On the bright side, the pad has two discrete buttons for left and right clicking, the rare but very useful feature that helps it avoid the jumpiness we see on so many clip pads. Considering that it's powered by low-cost components, the Lenovo IdeaPad 100S offers really solid performance. By contrast, the Cloudbook 11 has a buttonless touchpad and supports gestures, but suffers from a lot of lag pinch zooms occurred a second or more after we performed them. The Asus eBook X205 TA S pad also supports gestures, but also performed erratically when we used them. The IdeaPad 100S stayed cool at most touch points. After streaming a video for 15 minutes, the touchpad and keyboard reached a reasonable 90 and 89.5 degrees Fahrenheit, respectively, which is below our 95 degree comfort threshold. However, the bottom reached a full 103.5 degrees after streaming. The Lenovo IdeaPad 100S crams a number of useful ports onto its small frame. On the left side, you'll find a proprietary power port, HDMI out, an audio jack and a micro card reader, which you can use to add to the laptop's meter 32 GB of internal storage. The right side houses two USB 2.0 ports which are more than good enough for most peripherals you might attach it, but we wish at least one of these were USB 3.0 so we could take advantage of the fastest external hard drives. The 0.3 megapixel webcam took blurry, dark images of my face in every lighting condition I tested. The pictures were a bit more detailed.